Today, we are going to be scoring with Kobe Bryant in every single NBA 2K. This was a long awaited video, and every dollar we make off this video, we're going to be donating it to his foundation. I'll be updating you guys on at Twitter on how much we end up donating. Of course, we're starting off with the first ever 2K, NBA 2K. And in NBA 2K, Kobe Bryant came in at an 89 overall, a great rating for his first 2K. And this was coming off his third NBA season. Let's start this off good. Let's see if we can win a tip off. Yes, we can with Shaq there. That's just too easy. All right, we'll give the ball to Kobe. Do I know the controls of this game? Not really. I know how to sprint and I know how to dunk. We get fouled. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is also confusing. I have no idea. How to shoot free throws in this game. Um, okay, that that did not go well. This game is so confusing with the controls. I have really no idea how how to play. Let's get inside. We gotta try to run around this guy and get inside. And there we go. Okay. I'll just try to slam it. But uh we'll, we'll take that bucket there. Not really knowing how to use the controls in this game. That's a bit of a W. On to 2K1 now. And a huge rating boost for Kobe this year. All the way up to a 98 overall. Alright, Kobe, where are you? Alright, let's just give the ball to Kobe. We're getting double teamed right now. Let's just pull up from three. And there we go. That is cash. On to NBA 2K2. He actually goes down two overalls in this game. Down to a 96. Shaq's a 99 though. We'll have to do Shaq next. Okay, so R2 is to pass. Okay, so R1 is to actually sprint. See, this is so confusing. I'm using an Xbox controller, so this is extra confusing. And I'm on a PS2, so this, this does not make sense. But Allen Iverson is actually locking us down. All right, so it's going to be a little harder in this game to score. You can't just run by players, or maybe you can. That's a charge. All right, there we go. There we go, Kobe. What was... What was that? All right, mid-range shot. Come on. Yes, finally we scored. That took so long. I'm hoping 2K3 is a little bit easier to score. Obi, a 96 overall yet again. And now we actually get a look at some of his ratings. He's got a 90 dunk rating. Three-point shot, only a 70. Uh, let's just ISO. Oh, get inside here. And the dunk. There we go. That was so much easier to score. Now we move on to 2K4, aka ESPN Basketball. We'll be coming in at a 96 overall yet again. Okay, we, we got the ball to Kobe. Oh, we're wide open from three. Let's fade, I guess. And we hit the three. I didn't try to do that, but it worked out. So that brings us to ESPN NBA 2K5. And the first year with Shaq not on the Lakers roster, Kobe all the way up to a 99 overall. All right, here we go. And hey, we can actually choose who we want to pass to here. Uh, can we get a screen maybe? Quick pick and roll. There we go. There we go. Get inside here, and oh, I thought we were gonna slam that, but hey, we'll take the layup there. Can I pass the ball? I mean, we got 99 Kobe here, so okay, there we go. That's more like it. Missed the menu screen, but NBA 2K6 now. And Kobe gets dropped two overalls in this game, down to a 97. And Lakers are actually really bad in this game, even though they have the best player in NBA history, Kwame Brown. Oh, oh. Oh, nasty dribble moves. Come on, midi. And that's money. On to the last game on the PS2 here. We got NBA 2K7. And Kobe up to a 98 overall this year. All right, we got, we got to get this smush Parker to Kobe Bryant connection going right here. All right, Kobe. All right. All right, let's go. Kobe inside there. And the dunk. First game on the PS3, we got NBA 2K8. And a nice 98 overall for Kobe in 2K8. He also has a 99 dunk rating now, so we definitely got a dunk with him. All right, we got around everybody here. Come on. Yes, we got the poster. There it is. Let's watch this replay. Oh, the windmill over. Who was that? Is that Gasol? That was Gasol that we dunked on. That was nasty. That, that 99 dunk is OP. Oh, let's do it again. Yes, another poster back-to-back -back on Pau Gasol. Oh, my gosh. NBA 2K9. Kobe back to a 99 overall. You love to see it. He's got an 89 three ball this year. 99 layup, 99 dunk. I mean, there's really no stopping Kobe in this game. As a 99 overall, what are you possibly going to do against him? Like... 
<laughs> look at that. That is so overpowered. I just sprinted at everybody. Press square, and it's a free bucket. NBA 2K10, Kobe's first year as the cover athlete. And as a cover athlete, they actually dropped Kobe's rating. He went from a 99 to a 97. How are you going to put him on the cover and drop his rating? I wonder if we can get uh, Kobe with the pick and roll here. I wonder if we can throw him an alley-oop. I have no idea how to throw an alley-oop. So uh, on second thought, let's not do that. And let's just get the easy bucket. So that brings us to 2K11. And Kobe stays at a 97 overall. They dropped his three-point rating to a 75, and his dunk is only a 74. We're playing on PC for this game, and it just looks so much better than console. So with these low ratings, I don't know if this is going to be harder. I accidentally shot a full-court shot, and it almost went in. All right, so I'm just going to not take a full-court shot this time. I don't think we haven't done yet. Can we fade with Kobe? I mean, didn't fade at all there, but we, we still hit the shot easy. NBA 2K12. And Kobe's rating gets dropped yet again this year to a 94 overall. Despite the drop in ratings, Kobe's still a killer though. I mean, we can still pull up from anywhere we want and drain it with him. And our final game on the PS3 is NBA 2K13, my least favorite 2K of all time. And Kobe no longer the top rated player on the Lakers this year. He's behind Dwight Howard with a 93 overall. You really hate to see it. On paper, this team was really stacked. It would have been cool to see them win a championship. Unfortunately, Kobe did injure his Achilles this year. But that shouldn't stop us from scoring with him. Just get around everybody. And an easy layup. It's still not really possible to stop him in these games. First game on the PS4, we got 2K14. And even after his injury, Kobe's still coming in at a 93 overall in the game. This is Kobe's last year at being over a 90 overall. But he had a good run of 14 years over a 90 overall in 2K, which is pretty impressive. All right, let's get a screen here. Get around everybody, and let's dunk it. Still nasty, still unstoppable. 37 and a half inch vertical right there as well. And moving to Kobe's second last 2K game, he comes in at an 89 overall. We got the shot meter in the game now, so we got to at least hit a green with Kobe. Oh, and there it is. The perfect release. Glad we got that, that down. And of course, it's a mid-range shot. And we are on to Kobe's final 2K, NBA 2K16. And in his final year, Kobe comes in at an 85 overall, which is not bad at all for your final season. And Kobe had the greatest final game in NBA history. The fact that he was able to drop 60 just wrapped up his career perfectly. And we're going to end this video by hitting a shot that we haven't all video yet and that's kobe's signature fadeaway so let's just post up here fade and that is money bounced around a little bit but we got it to go and despite 2k16 being kobe's final year in the league he's still forever inside of 2k games with the la all-time teams and of course he's also on a few classic teams as well it's cool that 2K does put these teams in here so we can go back and play with players that are no longer in the league. See what we can do with Kobe here. All-time Lakers Kobe. 98 overall. It's a perfect release. That was nasty. A perfect way to end the video. Again, we'll be donating everything we make on this video to his foundation. I'll leave a link to that in the description below as well. But I'll see you guys next time.